change and environmental degradation have prompted Cheryl Boyer, a Mount Kenya University student, to innovate this, get this, edible cups and plates to replace kitchenware, which is mostly made from non-biodegradable plastic, glass and metals. Here's her story on this week's Made in Kenya. Cheryl Mboya has just had rice and beef for lunch. What she is happily chewing here is the plate on which she had her meal. It is a special plate she has innovated to boost environmental conservation. The innovation is basically a sustainable alternative to single-use plastics. We, are, we want to revolutionize how people consume plastics and also enable people to change into a more sustainable alternative. She calls her innovation snack it, to mean you can eat your cup, plate or spoon as a snack after having your meal or drink. I love to term it as um, a similar way you can eat your ice cream cone once you're done eating your ice cream, your gelato or your sorbet, that's the same way you can consume the snack eat products. So the, once you're done eating your dinner, your lunch or drinking your cup of coffee, then you can be able to eat your plate, your cup or your spoon. They are made using completely edible foodstuffs or ingredients that people commonly use. Uh, so in turn the end product is completely edible. Cheryl says that one of the things she has taken into consideration in her innovation is the end user's diet and the test preferences and persuasions. So we were able to uh, develop a product that anyone can be able to consume it, regardless of your, you know, your dietary restrictions and persuasions, your age, your health status. The basic raw material we use is gluten-free flour because, as you said, snack it is uh, allergen-free. So we needed to cater for people who have the gluten allergen, uh, allergies. Uh, we also use um, sugar substitutes to be able to ensure that it's sugar free. But at the, at the same time, it's also uh, sweet and you know, tasty to be eaten. Cheryl and her team have curated different flavors to meet the demands of their diverse target market. She has partnered with the National Carrier Kenya Airways to make the product and she aims to roll it out in the aviation industry once it is complete. During the research process, we were able to identify that one of the largest uh, industries that consume plastics, uh, that is the aviation industry. So we wanted to cater to that need, but ultimately we also target um, every single market, including individual consumption. As Cheryl says, one of the challenges she she faced in our innovation was the durability and reliability of the snack it products. However, together with our team, they were able to find the best formula to make it hold liquids and at the same time soften for consumption. We were able to develop a perfect structure that one can bite into, chew, but at the same time it's able to contain um, liquids. Cheryl says she is in advanced stages in making our innovation a reality and it's only a matter of time before we see the products on the shelves. We completely want to eradicate in plastic packaging and introduce a more sustainable packaging. Something that um, if it's thrown on land you can be able to uh, freely know that you know this is fully sustainable. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.